Hello everybody, uh, it's a great honor for me to be here today and to have the opportunity to present my work at this esteemed conference. First and foremost, I would like to thank the organizers for bringing us together and for creating a platform where we can share ideas, exchange knowledge and contribute to the advancement of our field. Papaver Somniferum and um, the influence of opium on humanity. Papaver Somniferum is a plant from the Papaveres family, historically known as one of the oldest medicinal plants. Commonly referred to as the opium papai, its history is deeply intertwined with medicine and human society. Papai is an annual herbaceous spices that um, may be um, 50 cm tall. The leaf is thin, which has long internodes and may branch, is greyish green and has a solitary terminal flower. The flowers have two easily shed sepals four colorful petals, numerous stems, and an ovary made up of ten carpels with a single cavity and sized stigmat at the top. However, not all the varieties of this plant are cultivated for opium. Opium consists of the dried latex excluded when in season are made in immature Popeye capsules. These mature papaya capsules used as an industrial drug are mature empty sea feed capsules cut transversely. Latex is collected 12 days after the petals fall when the capsules are yellow and not yet dried out. The white latex quickly turns brown in the air. The following morning the dry latex is collected by stripping it from the capsules then knitted and left to dry in the air for several days before being formed into cakes. Chemical composition of opium. Opium contains alkaloid together with acid, lactic acid, fumaric acid and resin. 20% uh, sugar, uh, 1 to 4 fat protein, mucilage, enzyme and water. Alkaloid contains morphine, codeine, and phthalid, noscapine, narcotine. Here, here there is a, a scene of ancient uses of opium, where opium is uh, used in Egypt, Alexander Great. And uh, the influence of opium on humanity, it's uh, used for analgesic effect, uh, sedative effect, euphoric effect, respiratory depression, peripheral effects, antidiuretic effect. In high doses, it can cause bradycardia and has a vasodilatator and antihypertensive effect. Codeine is used as a cold suppressant, but also has a mild depressing effect on the respiratory center, leading to mild bronchoconstriction. It also reduces secretion and induces the release of histamine. As analgesic effect, due to its affinity for opioid receptors, it inhibits the ascending nerve pathway, transmissions of the pain, and stimulates the descending pain modulation pathway. Uh, here are the, uh, you, the influence of opium on humanity. Physical and physiological impact. Morphine is used as a narcotic for its euphoric effect, but but due to the rapid development of tolerance, in the case of chronic use, the sudden cessation of consumption leads to several withdrawal symptoms, while the regular experience of euphoria and um, the effect of abstinence cause radical changes in the personality, uh, them to acquire the next morphine dose at any price. Impact of, human, uh, of uh, opium on oxidative stress here are the same and impact of uh, opium on lunch health as chronic irritation opium small contains harmful chemicals that irritate lunch tissue causing persistent inflammation pro-inflammatory cytokines uh, cellular damage and carcinogen exposure here is a case study uh, with the category, study overview, sample characteristics, religious composition, 
and uh, living arrangements with the details uh, like uh, 120 participants and the category page uh, participant age distribution uh, with uh, 10 to 12 years, uh, 13, 15 years, and uh, over um, 21 years with drug uh, use patterns. Uh, most common drugs are cannabis and heroin, uh, and uh, effects of drug use, anxiety, vomiting, headaches, nervousism, drug concealing, and uh, contributing factors, poverty, family problems, and low parental education. As conclusion, Papaversum nefarium is a valuable model for studying alkaloid biosynthesis, assessing the health, economic, and social effects of drug abuse is chilling. Uh, data on drug abuse is often fragmented and lacks cross-national standards. There is a need to develop policies based on reliable and uh, actionable knowledge. Cost-effective drug control measure, measures must be prioritized at all levels. Research findings uh, should gu uh, guide drug policies in Albania, Greece, and internationally. Accelerating research on the impact of drug abuse is essential for better police making. Here are the references. I thank you very much for your attention. And um, uh, once again, I appreciate the opportunity to be here and I look forward to engaging in meaningful discussion with all of you. Thank you.